Right now at four, a big shakeup for the Charlotte Hornets. The team's owner, NBA legend Michael Jordan, agreeing to sell a majority stake of the franchise after a 13 year run. Sports director Nick Carboni joining us live now outside of Spectrum Center. So Nick, I've heard rumblings of him maybe trying to sell the team. So this isn't a complete surprise, right? Exactly right, Carolyn. I mean, this is certainly significant news, but like you said, if you've been following this the last few months or even years, it's not a huge surprise. Let's go back to 2019. That is when Michael Jordan then sold a minority share of the Charlotte Hornets to somebody named Gabe Plotkin. And here we are three or four years later, Gabe Plotkin, one of two new majority owners of the Charlotte Hornets after this deal ultimately goes through, the other being Atlanta Hawks minority owner Rick Schnall. Now, Jordan initially bought majority share in the Hornets back in 2010. He bought it then for about $200 million. And today ESPN is reporting that the Hornets in this deal could sell for $3 billion. So quite the return on investment for Michael Jordan. Uh, you know, these two guys are very interesting. They're capital firm managers, Plotkin and uh, Schnall. But the two names that we're really kind of focused in on, I think a lot of people are, are the group is buying minority stakes, and that would be North Carolina natives and music legends J. Cole and Eric Church, also a part of this deal. But the majority owners, after this deal goes through from Michael Jordan to the next owners, that all, and Gabe Plotkin will have much more on who they are, what their backgrounds are, what they might try to turn this team into. I know a lot of fans are hoping for a better product on the court that's been out there the last 13 years or so under Michael Jordan, the greatest of all time, but never was able to really translate that winning into owning an NBA team. But Jordan, he will be a part of the franchise moving forward. We'll see in which capacity. Obviously, he's always been involved in the community. He's done a lot for Charlotte and North Carolina in his time as owner, and he will retain a minority stake in the team in this deal as well, Carolyn. So, Nick, um, I remember you bringing it to us that, that Jordan met with some of these draft prospects. Um, ahead of the draft. How is it? Do you think this um, revelation now is going to change that whole recruiting thing? Or do you think what's done is done? Yeah, I mean, everybody always thought that Michael Jordan being part of the franchise would, you know, help attract big time free agents. They just haven't operated that way. There hasn't been as much investment on the basketball side from Jordan as many fans would like. And in terms of the draft, you're right, it is six days away and in comes a new ownership group. But uh, Michael Jordan will actually oversee day to day basketball operations for the next couple of weeks or so. And that includes the NBA draft. And he's been criticized in the past for some of his draft picks. I think it's improved when he brought in GM Mitch Kupchak, but he's got one more swing at trying to change this franchise with a top pick. Of course, the Hornets have the number two pick next Thursday night. So interesting that he's going to be part of that decision still. Hmm. All right. Can't wait to see what happens. Nick Carboni, thanks so much. <laughs>